I opened the project. Reset the simulated camera to have it from the first frame. Ran the main task with run all. And it loaded this image. And we already have the PM Align tool set up. To search for this text in the image. So now let's search for these holes. To determine if the component is complete. Meaning if these two holes exist, then the component is fine. For this task, we could use the blob tool, which essentially searches for what we need, which is regions that enclose either dark or light areas. So we set the input image for the blob tool. And click run to initialize it. And we can see that the blob tool has found something. But it's quite rough, so we'll try to set it up. To search for these holes. In the current input image, we don't have any settings now because the region is set to use entire image. However, we want to set the search only in this area. So let's choose a rectangle, for example. And we can search in this area by clicking run. And looking at the output of the last run input image. We can see that the blob tool found two blobs here. Now let's look at the settings and see what kind of blobs. It was searching for. It was searching for dark blobs on a white background. That is why. When we look at the blob image, we can see that it found the entire background as one blob and identified these as holes. Looking at the results, I see that the blob it found is marked with the blue boundary. It has a size of around 73,000. And then it found some holes displayed as zero in connectivity labels column. I see that one hole has an area of around 5,000 something. And the other one has an area of 1,500. However, we wanted to search for light blobs on a dark background. So, we switch the polarity in the settings. Click Run. And we can see that the blob image now shows the correct result. It found two large blobs. And since the small blob has an area of around 1,549, and the other one has an area of around 5,700, we can set the minimum area to, let's say, 800 pixels. So that it doesn't accidentally detect small freckles in that area. This setting for the blob tool would be sufficient. We can see that we have two results, which should also be reflected here on the output results get blobs count with a count of two. With this result, we could continue working, for example, by extracting it from the block or using some result from the analysis tool to process the result and determine if it is correct or not. We will explain the blob tool into more details later. But what interests us now is how it will work on the next frames. Let's open this blob tool. And open the main task and click run all. And we can see that we encountered a problem here. It simply didn't find the two holes we expected but found a portion of the region here. And another portion of the region as blobs. When we look at the current input image, I can see that the region didn't move because the blob tool is searching in the region one specified. And it doesn't know that the PML and tool previously found the pattern rotated and shifted like this. The blob tool simply searches in the given region that we set. And we have several ways to set this region. In the next video I will try to explain the most powerful way available in Vision Pro. See you next time.